SpongeBob? How dare you invade the sanctity of my dreams? <sighs> In dreams, one is not tethered by earthly limitations. Come. For ages, dreams have been thought of as windows to another realm. Let me not mar that perfect dream by an oral stain, but so adjust my daily night that it may come again. Emily Dickinson wrote that. Here's one you might know. <clears throat> there once was a man from Peru who dreamed he was eating his shoe. He awoke with a fright in the middle of the night to find that his dream had come true. Did you think my shell was full of hot air? Beware of your wandering eye, you little peripheral. No. No. Check, check. One, two. Ah, that's more like it. Hello there, Papa Bob. Lay him on me, Papa Bob. Mostly. I dream I'm flying above it all, while I breathe fiery destruction upon my enemies. To finish restoring my hot rod, they really bring out the sharp corners of your buttocks. Hello, stinky man. Delightfully disgusting. Hello, hairy astronaut lady. You know, same shell, different day. Greetings and salutations, grouchy man. Oh, those walls, that carpet. Ah, oh, the naive cephalopod style. Not very sophisticated. Oh, tacky. You watch this nonsense? Nothing, I'm sure. Apparently no brain required. Uh, come, Papa Bob. Uh, let's get out of here before this bad taste rubs off on us. Good night, Papa Bob. Meow. <laughs> Here. Here. Here.